Hey, everybody at Holy Blossom, and of course, Rabbi John Moskowitz, and everybody else. We love you guys. You guys are amazing. I'm here with gentlemen you know very, very well, Wilson and Jackson. How's it going, guys? Good. Good. And how cool was it when you went over there to carry water with these guys? Remember that? Oh, it was very important. They are so passionate with uh, carrying water, so we like them to come one day and carry water here. Carry water here as well? Because you're carrying water in Canada, carrying water in Kenya? Yeah. I love it. So we are very, very thankful. In terms of this update, we're at a place that you guys know very well because you're helping to support it by way of scholarships. This is Kisaruni High School, and uh, we are thrilled. The school's not done yet, but um, it's, it's an amazing place. The vibe, the energy, we already feel is actually palpable. What we wanted to do is take you on a sneak preview, a sneak tour, because this place is going to truly transform hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of lives. Of course, as you know, girls typically have a chance to maybe go to elementary school, but never typically graduate from grade eight, and never typically go to high school. This is gonna change all that. And because of your scholarship and your support, even more is gonna be done. So come with me, we'll meet Wilson and Jackson a little bit later, but I wanna take you on a tour of this amazing campus to give you a sneak preview on why this place is so special. This is the administration block, Part one of the tour, let's go check it out. So this is pretty cool. So we're in the admin block now. And this is a map of the region where Free the Children is working. So all these schools, all the way from Memorial Joy to Matoni to Aloysioi to Alongarin to Nikara, all these schools and many, many more will have a chance to send their girls to this school. So it kind of gives the girls a sense of this overall region and community and this amazing community that we developed right here. This room is simple, but it's simple for a reason. This is actually a very important room. Every second Friday, we ask the parents to come to actually teach classes at Kisruni so that they can teach classes of the culture, of the local traditions, of their philosophies, of their, their traditions in such a powerful way. So part of the learning and the education is gonna be done inside the formal classrooms, but also because the parents are gonna be part of that process. And this is a room dedicated solely to the parents. So the classrooms, there are many on the campus. And the cool thing about the classroom, come on in. Rob and the team decided that they wanted desks that were um, equal, and so the students could sit around the desk. And everybody, then, in terms of students sitting around the desk, everybody would be equal even around the desk in terms of the learning environment, which is kind of cool. So there's three parts to this building. There's the uh, chemistry lab, the biology area, and where we're gonna put computers coming May, June. But this one's really neat. Some of the chemistry instruments are the first to arrive in the school. The school is now getting its books and its textbooks and its posters and so forth, but the chemistry materials have just arrived. And the curriculum is so advanced that we've hired a teacher specifically to focus on chemistry and biology. The students will be learning real world skills, so they'll be going off, for example, to the Mara River to understand some of the challenges of the water sources. They're even going to be going on safari to understand some of the challenges around environmental conservation and even learning basic zoology. So the curriculum here is going to be very, very advanced. The girls are going to be learning science and math and English and everything, but in an extremely advanced way. So come May and June, this is going to be computer lab, so imagine girls sitting here, sitting on the computers, there's a computer here, typing away, and seeing Be the Change in the background. So we want to make sure that the computers are very functional and of course easy and engaging, but also bring the internet to the school and using very appropriate websites that are very educational based and uh, through some partnerships that we have, we'll make that possible so the girls will be very computer literate when they have a chance to leave Peace Rooney upon the completion of their four years. So welcome to the library. The books are on their way from Nairobi. They'll be here soon. We got a few of the first books that just arrived in their first shipment. But uh, this is pretty cool. So one of the courses we'll be teaching here, for example, is business. And this is Inventor One, secondary school businesses. And so the students themselves will be learning pretty amazing stuff. And whether it be English, Kiswahili, or for example, simple things that everybody loves to learn, the history of government. But there's also the clubs that are gonna be taking part in the school. There's leadership clubs, environmental clubs, water clubs, leadership clubs, everything in between that's gonna help supplement the actual learning curriculum from the book perspective so that the students themselves will take away far much more than the academics so they'll become lifelong learners. So as you know, this is a boarding school. And the reason it's a boarding school is you wanna make sure the girls are able to dedicate themselves to their studies. They're really able to focus. So they'll be staying in these dorms. The dorms are really cool. So this is the large, large dorm facility. And this is the home away from home, away from home for the girls. They'll be going home every second weekend, but we wanna make sure, of course, they're coming back and they're gonna come back to amazing facilities. So we're still working away, so pardon the mess, but I just wanna give you a sense of kind of how cool and expansive this place is. 
So now we're at the teacher's accommodations. We happy to be walking by and who do we see but Wilson and Jackson. Hey Wilson and Jackson. Hello, Jumbo. 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 So Jumbo, so we're here at the teacher's accommodations and Wilson and Jackson, correct me if I'm wrong, but happy teachers equal happy students. Is that an important equation that we need to understand? Yeah. yeah. All right, so let's go check out the teacher's accommodations, okay? So it's simple and a lot of work to be done, but you've got a nice little area here, living room. You've got a little kitchen, a kitchenette, and you've got a bathroom and a shower and a toilet, of course, and you have three bedrooms. So it gives a really nice homey feel for the teachers. And again, we want the best, best teachers possible and great high quality teachers accommodations like this will allow us to track them. So thank you for being part of the Kisaruni High School experience. We could not do this without you. All of your support, your dedication, your hard work, your generosity has made all of this possible. So on behalf of myself, Craig, the entire Free the Children team, Asante Sana. And we look forward to opening the doors officially soon in a few months, having the girls come and be in the school, learning, being part of this amazing educational environment. And we welcome you to come and be part of this with us. Come and tour the school and visit and teach the girls and be part of this amazing community. Unless you're a boy, at which point the girls are staying on this side and the guys are staying on this side. And we've got two Maasai warriors to help ensure that the girls are on this side of the fence, the boys are at this side of the fence. Right, guys? Yes. All right. So on that note, we will see you guys soon. Asante sana, safari jama, and we'll see you in Kenya. Bye.